hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl nakisha so for today's video i'm doing a little soft beat i mainly did this video because i've been seeing where a lot of people are talking about ways in which you're supposed to level up your life and i just wanted to give my own little pointers real the reality the raw unfiltered way of how to reinvent yourself if you want to see how i came up with this look and if you want to hear the pointers then you have to continue watching the video and if you want to see more videos like this you have to subscribe okay I have a lot of people watching me that are not subscribed welcome back to my channel and i really do hope you subscribe it's free might as well if you're watching just subscribe i will see you guys in the next video i hope you have a wonderful holiday hi to my new subscribers and yeah let's get into the video bye guys blah hi guys so listen i know my bed is not spread but do not judge me okay because after i finish recording this video i am going right back in it I have a whole thing to talk about today yeah so let's jump into it i do have my bonnet on i think i'm gonna make it stay on because i have this thing tied around my wig and all of that there's a lot going on the lamp is on so but it's the holiday season and i was here and i found myself going on a downward spiral and i was like you know what let me just go shoot a video it makes sense because sometimes when you don't have anything to do on your board you do bullshit for you guys that are new here my name is nakisha welcome to my channel on this channel i do vlogs i do hauls i do makeup videos i do hair videos we just vibe over here you guys are not gonna box me in and have me here doing tutorials all the time no i'm a talker and that's what we're gonna do first thing we're gonna do we're gonna go in with the bros so let me tell you what i did right it's so funny how you can have a man right sometimes some of us we don't tell them what we expect of them so it's almost like we're going to these situationships just freestyling but what i'm realizing you really have to teach people how to treat you but sometimes people don't know i was talking to this person the biggest turn off for me with this person was communication they weren't communicating i'm big on communication because what will happen if i am not like communicating then my mind tend to drift off into uncertainties and when my mind drift i go into attack mode because i'm very emotional anyways so I've been telling this person for months like what I expect of them and, and they would not give it to me until I decided you know what I'm done and this is it I'm not the type of girl that is just gonna get up and jump ship if I get into something with somebody I give it chances I don't just jump ship whether it's a friendship family or a relationship I'm not the type of person to just decide say you know what I'll cut you off no I'm the type of person that give chances after chances cuz we all deserve that one of the things that drove me crazy about this person they would not answer the phone sometimes when we're not together i used to have an ex he would ignore me every other relationship after that is like that that whole experience it kind of set the bar for me so if you're not answering your phone i immediately feel like you're ignoring me and that's not anyone's baggage to unpack that's mine but i realized that i didn't communicate that to the person so they kept doing it like when they're busy they don't text and say okay i'm busy i'll call you back they're gonna be done with everything and then they'll communicate but, but before they're done i'm there in attack mode attacking them so we never really communicate that so like after i back off from them now and i decide to, you know what this is not working out for me and i stop i stop giving it my energy i kind of separate myself from them one day we were having a conversation and I told them exactly what it is, like why I'm the way I am when you don't answer your phone. The man that I used to date, he wouldn't, he would ignore me. And I was saying to him, I don't blame you. I took accountability because I didn't tell him, I didn't communicate to him. And this is what I don't understand with us women. We go into these situations, like in these relationships, and we expect things from people. Sometimes people really don't know, you know? The mother saying that says, closed mouths don't get fed. You have to talk, okay? So I told him, I'm not gonna hold you responsible. Now that I communicated to him, and I took a break from him, and I stopped talking to him, like whenever I pop in and I call him and he's not able to like answer his phone, he's communicating now. I walked away from it but I'm saying like you can be in a situation with somebody and you're telling them exactly what you want and they won't give it to you until you walk away isn't that ironic I told myself I wasn't gonna come on here and freestyle with the talking and here I am I'm still freestyling but that's just life because this just happened 
a while ago and I felt like talking about it so I'm gonna clean up my brows now but anyways you guys I've been seeing a lot of these videos going around on YouTube where people not only YouTube I've been seeing these videos all over where girls are doing these level up your life 20 ways to level up your life 20 ways to fix your life to be honest i'd never really click on some of them but the ones that i do see i feel like they're talking mainly about the external i'm gonna give you guys just a little like synopsis i would say about a year ago i had a nine to five in manhattan and i decided that i wanted to create a whole routine for myself so the first thing i decided to change was my health so I was like you know what I'm gonna start going to the gym that's when I started to do kickboxing no I liked the adrenaline I like moving my body but I did not like going to the gym so eventually I ended up quitting the gym because I just did not like the gym that was the first step that I take to like reinvent myself I created a whole routine for my for myself in the mornings right before I go to work I would wake up first thing I would do I would make my bed I would read my Bible say my prayers you know did my little devotion and I would take a nice shower I would do my makeup and I would do my hair and get dressed for work after I do all of that out the door run to the train station and it took me an hour to get to work so i would read my book evening same thing run to the train after work read my book on the train coming home get home bath dinner watch some little sitcom scroll tiktok back to bed I had a whole routine for myself yeah routines are great don't get me wrong everybody deserves to have a routine but i'm just showing you something then on the weekends now when i don't have my routine i would be doing bull crap before i was going to the gym on saturday mornings so that i had a little thing to do then in the morning so that would set the tone for my day on the weekends but seeing that i wasn't going to the gym anymore i was distracted by a lot of crap which is the relationship sometimes it's family drama sometimes it's work drama sometimes it's just depression like from past issues coming on to me because now i'm stopping i stop so now everything is flushing in so during the week i have a whole routine so i was kind of distracted with with work with like just doing what i need to do okay at the time sweetheart doing all of this I was burning out I did not know that because I was too busy going I was now in the you know, New York City lifestyle like I was just going 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 just like everyone else or everybody else I was just going and just doing what I need to do right not living not doing anything for myself to enjoy life Seeing that I'm not going anywhere, I'm just going to put on some moisturizer and that's it. Because I'm going to wipe this makeup off before I go to bed. So, realized that I was burning out. And one day I was home and I got this phone call that my cousin was in the hospital. I didn't understand how serious it was because usually I would travel for Thanksgiving. Because I live in New York City, right? We live far from each other. And that specific year... My cousin she wanted me to come to thanksgiving and because of my personal issues i told her no i couldn't I, well at first i told her yes and then i was like i couldn't make it i didn't get to go to the thanksgiving so then i got a phone call and up in the air and they told me that she was sick right cool you know everybody gets sick everybody gets sick and then they get better but i did not know the severity of it so i did reach out to her and i sent her a text because that's what you do you don't call people when they're sick you send them text messages especially if you hear that they're in the hospital so i text her and i said i hope you're okay da 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 i am thinking of you and i did not get a response for weeks and days then one sunday i was home from work cleaning up my house setting the tone for the week to come burning my polo santo staging out my house all of that then i just got the phone call from my aunt and my aunt told me that okay she's sick 
and it's serious so then i realized how severe it was couple hours after my aunt called me again and told me she died so that day I don't know what happened because everything was okay i was okay i was trying to lift my spirit i was doing what nakisha do on a sunday to set the tone for work the monday and i got this call and when i got the call i just stopped immediately and when i stopped i just zoned out for a second like a, a good five ten minutes because i couldn't understand like I was just texting her you know what i mean so what are you saying to me i pick up this new foundation i want to try it out it says the super stay active wear maybelline new york foundation it says up to 30 hours and this is in honey 320 i don't think this is my shade but we're gonna use it regardless so anyways when i got the call see what i'm saying i don't think this is my shade but we're gonna use it anyway so when I got the call and everything now and I stood there for a while and then the morning I woke up and I was getting ready for work, I just start bawling and I said, no, mm -mm, I am not going. I don't feel like it today. So I feel like I should turn this light off. What do you guys think? Should I turn it off? I think I should turn it off. It's distracting, right? I don't know because you guys not seeing this side of my face too well I call out from work and I tell them I'm not coming in I have an emergency family emergency stay home the day the Monday went to work for the whole week everything was fine the Friday they told me I guess they don't want my services anymore but they were gonna give me time you know to get my stuff situated now even before the whole thing with my cousin i was saying for months that i want to quit and i want to start like doing youtube full time i've been saying i want to do youtube full time but i'm just showing you how god work and how the universe work but i also like my independence that my job was giving me and youtube is not a place where okay you get up and you start doing it you're gonna get paid um immediately from it couldn't just quit my job and say okay i'm gonna do youtube full time no this was my stream of income i was living my life i had like bills to pay so you know what guys let me take this thing off my head i'll be right back so every day we get to put this intention of changing and fixing but how about appreciating? Appreciating who you are, where you're at, and what you have in life. Celebrating your small wins. When that whole situation ship, thinking that that was coming into my life to like hurt me or harm me, it was actually showing me you are insecure. You need to pay more attention to yourself and your well-being. I was speaking to my auntie yesterday, right? And she said to me, all of us are the same, whether we are blood related or not. We're all having a human experience, but in a different way. You are unique in your own way because nobody, nobody is Nakisha. Nobody is you that is watching this video right now. Yes, we might be having the same experience, but we're all dealing with it in our different way. Stop selling this perfection facade because it is not true. Life journey is what we're supposed to be teaching people because everybody wants to show the highlight of their lives i realize that there are a lot of people that are at home who are comparing where they're at and suffering like their their mind their their mental is suffering because they want what you have because they think your shit is perfect and i'm here to tell you nobody shit is perfect we're all messy yes your surroundings is gonna create your character and yes, you can adjust some things, but you will not change without experience. Life don't work like that. Changes don't come with your age, first of all. You might change as you grow. Your body age, but your intentions, it don't change unless you have life experiences. And that's just the truth. That's why I'm saying to you, the good, it comes with the bad. And 
the only way through what you're going through is through it you can't go over it you can't go on night because there's always a lesson and when the lesson them done your life done too if you stop learning might as well you just go relax and wait for dead that's what life life experiences is about like you learn it teaches you it upgrade you for whatever ever level you are about to reach other things that i want for you as well is to stop being the victim you are not a victim you see once you stop being the victim then you can learn how to forgive oh shit sila that something fell over once we take ourselves out of that victim mindset then we'll learn that we are not perfect and we can forgive others because once you take things or situations as lessons, then you realize how much of a non-victim you are, you know? And you realize how everything is here to teach you and make you better. So I want you to stop being a victim. I want you to be a victor, a winner. I want you to do the work in order to make yourself better and not bitter. Just take situations and people as lessons to get you to the next level. Instead of sitting there thinking, okay, why did this happen to me? Or why did this person do this to me? Just say, what is this teaching me? What is this here to teach me about myself? What is it that I'm not paying attention? Which, which part of myself am I not paying attention to? That's the way how you're gonna level up at all times. You think it's money? Money are gonna come and it are gonna go as long as you're there on this earth, right? But you see, when you're your best self, you will start attracting better things. So you have to do the work. I created that whole routine thinking that, okay, I'm doing the whole routine thing. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. Then my life was gonna transition for the better. In, in your eyes, you probably would think that it didn't. But if I told you the real story or where I'm at today, you would think that it didn't. But for me, I'm looking at it and I'm really a different person. I was doing my whole routine and everything. I wanted to change so bad, but then I was so afraid. So I started to self-destruct by going back to certain relationships that I was supposed to let go off of years ago. I felt the change, you can feel it, you know, right? The way you walk, the way you talk, the things that are exciting to you and the things that aren't exciting to you anymore. So you can know, right? In your body, you can feel it. And I was so afraid, to be honest. And I know it's fear. It's fear. And because of fear, I went ahead again and settled for less. So sometimes you're holding yourself back with all these distractions. All of us are fearful. Who cannot scare me with hard life? Me master hard life already. A success scare me because my normal potential. But at the end of the day, I don't want to be exposed and to be too vulnerable because i don't want nobody picking me apart because i'm very sensitive you know yeah i'm very sensitive that's one of the main things that hold us back you know fear like once you start taking your emotions out of things and start thinking logically it's almost like you will see why everything happened the way they do no one said that life experiences were going to be easy. It is absolutely necessary. Like I said, it's necessary for your growth. It's ne you don't change with age. You change with experience. I'm using this concealer to just brighten up my under eye a little bit. I'm doing something very soft and mild, by the way. <laughs> just in case you guys are wondering my skin is glowing listen girl you see before i have my lady time for the month my skin mess 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 you see after she come and gone glow 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 <laughs> yep and i feel fat and ugly when she's here and bloated but once she gone Better than me, you can't find. 
so yeah i was saying that that's how you level up your life that's how you reinvent yourself you go back to the drawing board and sometimes you just needed a freaking break yeah man i've been living in survival mode for so long trying to figure things out but sometimes in order for you to like plunge forward you need to go backward for a little bit chill relax and then everybody need that and everybody deserve to have a place or a space where they can be their most vulnerable self because life hard life is very hard and it is good when you can be that for somebody gotta go send you somebody when it is necessary for you to have someone in your corner when needed i'm telling you whatever you put in the atmosphere you get back so that's how you're gonna reinvent yourself you're gonna go back to the drawing board and just say okay i am not a science experiment i am a human being who is having a human experience i deserve for good things to happen to me and for me but for now maybe there are certain things that i'm not paying attention to in my life and i need to pay attention to those things and maybe that will help me to level up exercise help with your mental it does i can't say that much it's gonna get your mind clear and not only that it's gonna help with your anxiety your stress you know i don't like the fact that people are saying to people go to the gym go to the gym the best exercise sometime for me is just to walk especially in nature but yeah create the routine don't get me wrong create the routine do what it is that you need to upgrade your life but in the same instance give yourself some grace i know that like i said you're a human being you're not a science experiment because what is going to happen when people sell you this narrative like okay if you do these things your life is gonna change for the better it might not change right away sweetheart it's probably gonna get harder before it get easier that's all i'm trying to say to you don't expect anything from it if you decide to like reinvent yourself but reinvention is necessary because I've done it and I'm still doing it I'm still going through it I haven't seen the full you know benefit from it as yet as in like a monetary benefit but I've seen mental benefit like certain relationships I'm standing on business with that cut off certain people that are not for me and I had to like literally know so this is really not for me and walk away from it and um, you know try to reconnect with some of my family and just do the right thing for me mentally you know what I mean it's gonna come with a lot of like hurt and pain a lot of things are going to affect you from the God sometimes what well, sometimes I cry and it's coming from like deep within you know what I mean so yeah just wanted to give you guys that little talk you know so you don't feel like you're not doing enough you're exactly where you need to be all of us might not be Jeff Bezos but everybody have a peak in a them life for them to go reach I strongly believe that so yeah there is also this video going around i'm gonna bronze up my face that i saw i'm not gonna use this i'm gonna use my bronzer i saw this video going around girl this broke up okay so stay with me i saw this video going around of this lady going on her knee proposing to a man why are we still doing that I don't know who came up with that idea, but I want to know if to stop it right now. That man is going to resent that woman for the rest of him life. Why you do that? Could never be me. Why you go for any other poster, man? I want women to want more for themselves. Man is not an accomplishment. I remember one time, you know, somebody, I was talking to somebody about that same thing and they were like, so, oh, you don't have a man as if man is an accomplishment that was never an accomplishment for me man not hard for me man are the easiest thing for me you're crazy are the easiest thing that for me right now a man when me want women for them want women to him i are you're very attainable i don't have to be tara banks or one of the top model them for you have a man so get up off of your knee girl you're not desperate and stop it 
you are going to find a proposed to man for. You don't know if it's a, if a man is your soulmate. You don't know if it's a goat. You don't know if it's a dog. You don't know who is your soulmate. And men are not nice people. Which nice man you know? Which nice man you know? Yeah, you may talk. You know a nice man? No, no man no nice. None of them no nice. Them no nice. You know the man who will sit up with you and cry with you and help you through your trauma or your emotions unless he's getting paid for it? Listen girl, I want to stop it and come out of the mindset there thinking that that's the end all. It's not the end all. Understand that someone want to grow up with a family life and you know, him I though. I want to feel him I Like seriously. I hate the fact that women are not being women anymore. I don't know why is it that people must feel like okay because a woman is independent and she's striving for better that means she's manly any man in this life knows that as long as he's showing up for his woman how he's supposed to show up for her she will submit every man know that no woman no one be hard so I don't want to come from with this mindset like say women out here want to be hard or want to be hyper independent no woman no, every woman want to be soft but you see especially for black women when you put us through so much shit it's like we don't have no choice nobody never did a show up for we so we'd have to show up for ourselves you think it was a black woman who came up with this feminist movement it was a white woman what the hell like we want to be soft but when you're not making a movie when you never make black women soft or the damsel in distress when you never have us playing those roles, right? So when you sell this narrative as if black women are hard or we're out here hostile and aggressive all because we don't put up with bullshit. But that's not true. Every man know that if, if you want your woman to be submissive, you're going to be the leader of the household. That's how you get your woman to be soft. But when you want a woman to do 50-50, we don't know and still be soft. We don't want to get this ridiculousness from I don't know. But like I said, I want women to him, Aya. And I feel like, say, you see where you're at in life is what you're going to attract. So you see when you hear Aya, you set yourself up in a way where in that you don't need nobody, you want them, you'll attract the right thing at the right time. Because even the way how I talk sometimes, it's kind of aggressive. And, you know, her. But once I'm around my man, and my man is a leader, I'm the softest thing you could ever find in this world. Soft. Make him even raise him vice for me, my ball. I might have him mad at one time, but I'm going to walk out and go ball. But I feel like doing my makeup tonight, and for some strange reason, she's eating. Like, isn't she eating? She is eating. I bought these lashes at the beauty supply store. I'm going to put these on. I bought this um, mascara, it's the Sky High mascara, and it's like a brown shade, it is so cute. This is my favorite mascara, the Sky High mascara from Maybelline. I, as you guys can see, I love Maybelline products, I'm always using... I'm always using Maybelline products. <laughs> I don't have on any blush. So I'm putting on a little bit of this blush. Every time I'm doing the simpler beads, they just come out flawless, bro. So a little blush up here just put some color in my face and some right here so guys how's your Christmas going Christmas is in two days I'm recording this on Saturday it's actually my mother's birthday today it must suck the barn in Christmas <laughs> because what you only get like one gift for your birthday and for Christmas that sucks. 
but yeah today is my mom's birthday you know why my makeup looks so good guys i wash my brushes wash your makeup brushes okay don't be like me go and wash and i realize that i'm using less products too that's why my makeup looks so nice because i wash my brushes that's exactly why this this is from nars i got this at tj maxx years ago and i do still have it it's one of my favorite pinks like a nice little pink and i always like put my fenty lip gloss over it this thing over like lipstick like these and you don't wipe it off that's what it does to the glass and I hate that it's see how cute let me come up and show you my skin how it look I have makeup in my hair but I'm gonna fix my hair I'm gonna curl up my hair I think I should like give you guys a bonus clip. I don't think so. You guys are not interested in my hair, right? So I don't think I'm going to do that. Let me just go do my hair, guys, and come right back. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I went and put on a little bit of eyeliner under my eye. And I curl up my hair. So this is what my hair looks like right now. I'm probably going to just brush these curls out. Should I? They're going to drop anyway, so I don't think I need to brush them out. But this is the look okay, guys. so we've reached the end of this video it was a quick and easy just sit on and chit chat with you guys because i think this is gonna be my last video before christmas but remember to like share and subscribe but before i go guys i wrote this and i just wanted to share it with you guys okay and it says you are a human being who cries and who feels you are not a robot or a science experiment you are having a human experience every day we get up with this intention of fixing who we are instead of appreciating who we are yes our surroundings create our character but there's still no one that is having your experience they cannot be who you are whether the good or the bad why because you are having your own human experience once we take ourselves out of the mindset of being the victim, then we become more forgiving of each other. We take things, situations, and people as lessons to get us to the next level. So once you take your emotions out of things and start thinking logically, you'll see why, why everything happens the way they do. It is for our greatest good. No one said life experiences were going to be easy However, we are assigned to our own unique life task. And once those tasks are over, you're gone because your journey ended. So instead of asking for it to end, pray for the strength to get through it. The next level might be your best level or it might be your worst. Who knows? But that is the reality of this human experience. And I just close it out by saying, we will all get the opportunity in this life to be our worst and our best selves. But the fact of the matter is nothing will last forever. Once we realize this, then we will control our reality. The only way over it is through it. We can't pray or it is a way. We ask the Lord for the ability to get through them. The strength, the grace, the peace we need in order to do our mission. Adaptability. It is hard for people to change. That is why we are given life obstacles. We grow through trials. We don't grow through time. Our bodies age, but not our spirit or our mindset. Without sadness, there is no happiness. Life is a balance. So I just wanted to leave that with you guys today. Because like I said, you guys are not going to box me in. I'm a talker. <laughs> I'm not always a makeup connoisseur just sitting here talking about makeup. I have a lot to say. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. And I hope you guys have the most amazing holiday. And if you don't, I just hope that you get up, tidy yourself, tidy up your surroundings, put on something nice, whatever you classify as nice. It don't have to be what everybody else think is nice, but something that you think is nice. And just take care of yourself because all you have is you and do what you want to do to make yourself happy all right stop listening to the crowd 
you are having your own life experience and I want you to experience it because like I said you are not a robot you are a human being okay so thank you guys so much for subscribing I have some new subscribers here welcome to my channel I hope you guys stick around I hope you guys thumbs up the video I hope you share it and I hope you learn something from this whether from the makeup or whatever it is that I just said and I guess I will see you guys in my next one it's your girl Lakeisha bye